guys, it's Kim here. Um, it's a little echoey right now, I think, because I'm in my new apartment and I'm gonna be doing an empty apartment tour. I'm behind a completely blank white wall, which is kind of really cool for me because all my life I have grown up living in wooden dark walls. I had to film in the bathroom because I didn't have like a backdrop that was plain white and there's like plenty of sunlight in here too so I don't need like a bunch of lighting equipment to make it look like I'm not recording in the dungeon. Just keep in mind an empty apartment tour is when you're just filming a completely bare apartment with like no furniture. Well I have some furniture in here still because my boyfriend he moved some stuff in here ahead of time before I got here. Just to give you guys some background info just in case you guys didn't watch my previous video. Um, I moved in with my boyfriend and I moved across the US and right now I'm currently living with him. And this is my very first apartment. Before I moved I watched a bunch, a bunch, so many apartment tour videos. Something about the empty apartment tour videos gets me like really super excited about moving out for the first time. Why we chose this apartment it was because of the cost and that it was really close to my boyfriend's workplace before he had to commute sometimes like an hour to work and then another hour back and we have all these long phone calls with him just driving all day so this is my long-awaited empty apartment tour i've been waiting for months to be able to film something like this so this is the front door of my apartment and here is just luggages of stuff I brought from California. This is like literally the first day I just got here. And, and this is my first time seeing an apartment like in real life and not through pictures and videos. At the side of the entrance, there's this hook thingy to hang your clothes. And I don't know what you put above here, but I guess you could put stuff there. Here, there's just my bag. This is basically the living room, I believe. There's a window there that's on the side for some reason and not in the center, which bothers me a little bit. <laughs> and I'm thinking about putting desk here and maybe the TV back over here. But it's a really nice view outside with like trees, which I really liked. And there's this brown wall that bothers me a little bit, but it kind of reminds me of home, so it's okay. On to the right is my kitchen. It's a little bit small, but there's this huge space on this side, I think, that would be a good spot for like a kitchen island. And here's just a box of appliances that I bought on like Black Friday and had it shipped here from like a long time ago. And then I got a bunch of things on sale. Here are some shells. Um, I'm thinking about taking out this one because it seems to be like out of place. And maybe something to cover this. I'm not sure yet. But let me know down in the comment box what I could use to cover that. Here's the refrigerator and the cabinets. We actually have a dishwasher. I never had a dishwasher like ever before. So that's kind of cool. Here's the oven. Here are the cabinets. Um, I really do not like these cabinets. And look at these. Like, what is this? Mushroom knobs? Like, why? <laughs> Here's the sink, which is a fairly large sink. And the countertops are like this spotted yellow cover. Um, and here are some tiles and an outlet that is very dangerously placed very closely to the sink for some reason. And this is just my kitchen floor. Um, I'm gonna need like lots of contact paper to cover up these cabinets and stuff. Surprisingly there were these hooks up here that I'm assuming to like hang pots and stuff. Which is gonna be pretty useful for storage. Here's my refrigerator. It looks pretty clean. Looks almost brand new. I can't wait to fill it up with foods. I've always had a struggle with my mom with like refrigerator space. And out here I'm assuming it's like the dining area and here's like the balcony. I'm surprised we had a balcony. And there's like a storage thingy right here. I guess this balcony will be my contact with the outside world.
to the right is the bathroom um, with the most yellowest tiles ever that I'm probably going to cover with contact paper. A mirror with the medicine cabinet. Here's the sink. I'm going to cover you completely with contact paper. <laughs> Here are some um, drawers, but for some reason they're not openable. They don't open. <laughs> and here are more drawers. Here is the bathtub. I'm kind of excited because this is an actual bathtub. I thought I was going to get like those standing showers and not be able to take baths. So I'm excited for baths because I love taking baths. Over here is a walk-in closet, which is such a big upgrade because I had a big closet back at home, but the door was broken. So I'm excited for this. I just need to change out this tassel for something else because it looks not that good. But this is like a huge, huge closet. And for some reason, there are crutches in here. And I don't know why the last owners left them here. And some built-in shelves, which is awesome for storage. I kind of want another shelf or drawer thing in here, maybe. And maybe put contact paper on the floor. Maybe marble or something. So, and I can hang all my clothes here. I don't even think I could fit all my clothes here. Um, I need to do something about these crushes. And there's the mirror on the door. And just giving you a look how everything looks when you walk back, I guess. Oh, back into the kitchen. Um, the inside of the cabinets looks really not good. For some reason, they decided to paint it purple on the inside. And it's really sticky and gross. Just peeling back this um, shelf liner. It just made this noise. And everything just feels greasy. I think I'm going to spend the next three days trying to clean this. So this is going to be my before shot before I completely cover this in contact paper later. <laughs> but overall, I do love this kitchen because it feels like the perfect size. Like, I don't need anything too big. And I And this is going to be my very own kitchen, so it is going to be pretty cool. I'm excited to look for like a kitchen island to put in the corner over there. The rugs, um, yeah, there are stains. This is the bedroom. <laughs> I don't know what all these stains are, but I'm going to put like a rug all over it. My boyfriend did leave a foldable bed here and his TV. And for some reason, there are like these wall hanging stuff here that isn't from me. <laughs> That's my boyfriend's. That's my boyfriend's. It's actually really comfortable, that little foldable bed thing. And there are actually two closets in here. There's a surprisingly a lot of closets in here. I think this is going to be my boyfriend's closet, it's the ones that are in the actual bedroom and I'll just stick to the large one that's like outside right now. He could do whatever he want with these, I think that's a pretty good trade off, he gets two closets, I get the giant one. And in here is like the Havoc unit I think. Okay. Okay, he left, so this is the Havoc unit, I think, and we're not supposed to be doing anything to it, so I'm just gonna leave it alone. And it looks creepy in here. <laughs> Let me know down in the comment box if you have any DIY home ideas, or any suggestions of things I could do to the apartment to make it more smashy and fancy. There will be a fully furnished apartment tour video, but um, I'm still like kind of putting things together in the apartment and when I'm ready, I will post that up. So stay tuned for that. Thank you for watching this video. Please like, comment, subscribe. Be sure to watch my previous video. Be sure to follow me on all my social media sites. And let me know if you'd like to watch a fully furnished apartment tour. Bye!